Tesla has received a lot of criticism from the anti-Tesla brigade for the speed at which they're deploying their 4680 battery cells. People are saying they're vaporware, it's never going to happen, it's years into the future. But this recent report suggests that that is not the case. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Fantastic to have you here on the channel. I'm coming to you here from Newcastle. I was about to say Melbourne, but I'm not in Melbourne. I'm in Newcastle in Australia for the Christmas period. I just want to say a big shout out, a big, well, happy Christmas to all of you. I know it's, well, today it's actually the 24th of December, but Christmas is about to be here. So I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas wherever you are. I know many people from many different countries watch this channel. So all of you have a great Christmas. And I also hope you had a fantastic year as well. Now, Tesla 4680 battery cell production stations have been spotted inside Gigafactory, Texas. Elon Musk actually allows drones on factory sites. And a photographer has captured some very interesting very unique video footage. Now, Stephen Loveday reports for Inside EVs that images from recent drone footage captured at Tesla's upcoming Gigafactory in Austin, Texas, which looks like it's about to potentially start selling cars, reveals four identical production stations that appear to be producing right now 4680 battery cells. Now, not long ago, Inside EVs pointed out that Tesla received several large shipments for 4680 battery cell production at the new factory. Now, physics engineer Alex shared images on Twitter of each of these four stations performing various processes along the battery production supply chain. He says he guesses that the particular stations pictured are four electrode flag patterning, jelly roll winding, and current collector welding. Now, people who appear to be well-versed on the subject elaborate on the stations and images in the Twitter thread. Now, for those of you who are unaware of this, and for those who are pretty anti Elon Musk, I do think it's admirable that he specifically allows people to fly drones and take photographs at the automaker's factory sites. Now, while such images and footage can sometimes expose potential issues at Tesla's facilities, they can also draw attention to Tesla's potential production pros processes and their progress. Now, this is what Elon actually tweeted on August the 28th, 2020. I'm fine with reasonable drone footage. It just needs to be at a fair distance and not coming right up to people. I think our security was a little overzealous when they recently stopped someone from filming. So since then, drones have been allowed at all Tesla factories. Now, Joe Tegtmeyer has been documenting Tesla's progress for many months and publishing his videos on his YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description below to his channel. Now to date, he's uploaded over 250 drone videos of the Texas Tesla Gigafactory. So I think what we're seeing in these images is quite interesting because in this particular drone footage, Bob Mayo clarifies what's in the images saying, four spindles, cathode, anode, separator, blue tape. And then he says two winding machines on the left, maybe on the right, two vertical column tape buffers, but cathode and anode tapes. That white spool does not look large. Is it big enough for the separator if the separator is very thin? Now, one of the big key advantages here to 4680 battery cells is their cost, manufacturability, and time to manufacture, and potentially energy density as well. Now, being tabless also helps with their thermal management. And thermal management is extremely important for maintaining battery life of a battery pack. Now, personally, I have to say I'm excited to see these batteries ramping up in production. I really think 4680 batter, 80 battery cells are going to be a serious game changer for Tesla. Now, obviously, 4680 is just a size designation of the size of battery. But really, it goes beyond that because there are several differences between the 4680 battery cell versus Tesla's previous cells like the 2170s. Now, my question here, this factory is in Texas, right? If Tesla hires 20,000 people, indirectly hires 120,000 people through all the factories and the staff that will be needed in supportive industries of Tesla's Gigafactory, if they manufacture batteries here at the factory, if they manufacture potentially hundreds of thousands of Cybertrucks there and Tesla Model Ys, does that mean 
that Texas politicians and people that live in Texas will actually continue to bash electric vehicles or will they support the transition? I actually think that people in Texas could be could potentially become some of Tesla's biggest fans and turn the tide in what some people like to say is redneck territory from ice, stinky old gas vehicles into moving into the new world of electric cars. And personally, I have to say, that really excites me. Thanks for watching the channel. I look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye-bye.